Today, uh, we've got some domain experts. Uh, and so the idea for this particular program is over the next 10 weeks or so, uh, we look at all aspects of fintech and how it affects us. Society needs a way to manage its money. And there have always been these houses of money, what we essentially call banks, to manage the value that I owe you, you owe me. And that value of exchange has to be monitored by a central authority so that everyone can have trust and faith in that transaction. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. I owe you 100 dirhams and I need to pay 10 dirhams to Mirna, you pay it on my behalf, we need to do those debits and credits. Mm -hmm. Essentially, from there has evolved all the checking systems, uh, current accounts, saving accounts, and then now progressing to digital banking, digital transfers, uh, crowdfunding, crowdsourcing. It's just you giving me money to run my business. We need to transact for that. Anything that helps that is fintech. If you look at fintech, it's four basically four different categories or layers. You've got the infrastructure, and infrastructure is all about security and identity, and you know the underlying ID that we have as in, as people and as institutions. Then you have the payments and lending, which Tanvir mentioned, and it's only one part of fintech: the mobile banking, the currencies, the cryptocurrencies, and all of that kind of things. Then you have the markets. And the markets is the it's the trading, all these things about algorithmic trading and using technology to to understand or using artificial intelligence to understand how the markets operate. Mm -hmm. That's markets. And the fourth part is the marketplaces, which is the peer-to-peer -peer lending and crowdsourcing, crowdfunding, and all that. 